Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to Dale Chanel's 40s World. And we're going to be talking about the Princess Portia Williams. Okay, or it might be one day Portia Williams goodbye to We hoping the best for Portia, but only God knows what she is getting herself into. Okay, and the people she is surrounding herself by. But happy Saturday. Hopefully everyone had a good Saturday. It was kind of rainy and cold here in Georgia, but I kind of like the weather. Not the uh, rainy part, but the cold weather, I kind of dig it. But honey, that big mansion of a house is called the Swan Lake House. And I am trying to figure out what Simon Gabadio and Portia Williams got to do with this. Now, they were attending a what do you call it a charity bazaar ball where they raise money for charities and they surround themselves around the who's who now i don't know that you become a who's who by being a part of ratchet re uh, reality shows versus being elegant and well-known to the affluent people and when i say affluent people i mean in the movies and the shakers and the ones that are hardly seen you know they got their businesses out there they travel the world travel the country kind of like uh bill gates the oprahs the uh, queens and kings over there in britain uh, but not Simon and Portia. I'm trying to figure out how that relates. But let me give you a little history about this house that they're in. It's called the Swan House. It is an excellent example of second Renaissance revival style and represents the architectural and decorative taste of the affluent citizens in the late 1920s. All right. We're going to say again, affluent Okay, meaning the upper crest, the who's who, the people that you know of just by their name. And they can only go by the last name and it'll tell you a lot about them and their legacies. This is old money. We talking old, old, rich, heritage type money. Goes deep. Okay, it was built, meaning the Swan House. By Edward and Emily Inman, heirs to a cotton brokerage fortune. Now, y'all know, cotton and black folks and farms or plantations, that ain't nothing but money. And it ain't for the latter, meaning the workers. So why, I ask, is Portia affiliated with these people, that house? And everything comes with it. Because this house and many other houses such as this. That were built by the affluent people. They kind of compared this house to the Hunger Games. If anybody know about the Hunger Games. You know it was nothing good for the public. Okay. So basically we would need y'all to go do your research on the Hunger Games. You can research a little bit more on the Swan House. You can definitely research about the Masonic. Uh, masons and eastern stars and sororities and fraternities then you may have a better understanding like i said whatever you see whatever you hear use those resources okay but going back to the house itself like i said it was built by edward and emily inman they were heirs to a cotton brokerage fortune the house was designed by a well-known Atlanta architect by the name of Philip Tremell Schultz in 1928 and decorated by Ruby Ross Woods of New York. Swan House and its gardens are together considered Schultz's finest residential work in which he adapted Italian and English classical styles to accommodate the 20th century living. Now that is, you know who that is, if y'all don't know. I think he was the governor. Now he wasn't the governor. Ah, he was a civil rights activist. Andrew Young. Okay. Before this man. But y'all notice the pillars and the black and white checkerboard. Go look it up when I'm talking about cults. Okay. But um, 
like I said, uh, in which he adapted the English and uh, Italian settings for the house. The house is set on a rising slope and presents an Italian mannerist facade, <coughs> facade, complete with double stairs descending on either side of a cascade. Uh, it has very much inspired lawns, stone obliques, and retaining walls and two stone fountains or other Renaissance elements found on, on the grounds. Okay, the name of the house is drawn from the swan or bird motif that grace many of the interior rooms. The interior of the house is elaborate as the exterior and features five rooms of distinction. The entrance festival. And the entrance hall, the library, the morning room, and the dining room. Other rooms include four bedroom areas, a sitting room, a full basement, and an apartment in the attic of the two impressive exterior facades of Swan House. The west facade faces Andrews Drive, that is the rear of the house, is more impressive of the two, being strictly Italian in durations derivations although not in pen, <coughs> excuse me imitative of any one architectural monument of the past now i gave y'all this uh little brief description of the swan house to definitely let you know it was captivated and uh based on the 18th century objects and if you want to ever come to it atlanta and see, the Swan House is at 130 West Paces Ferry Road in Northwest Atlanta. Okay, and it is a historical setting for Georgia. It is maintained and operated by the Atlanta History Center. Okay, now why I tell you about this, this is a got to do with heritage, legacy, uh, money, old money. And it has a lot to do with caucasian people and other people of that race and culture so what does that have to do with simon gabadia and portia williams portia williams is known for her father or her dad's dad being a part of the civil rights movement but as you know, Portia was kind of dumb to the idea when she had mentioned that on The Real Housewives of Atlanta, which is a ratchet TV show, um, built around several Amer African-American women or black women. And Portia thought the Underground Railroad was still built and it was actually a train. You know, we hadn't gotten off of that yet. And just something about this man right here. Why does he like young women that almost look like they can be put back in high school? And what is this about? I caught this clip. She kind of looks like a black Medusa. And it seems like uh, Kenya is in the background. That looks like a picture of Kenya. Um, but I'm not understanding. At the time, Simon was Fallon's husband. So I'm like, is this Fallon? Was this supposed to be Fallon at some point? Was she being dressed up? and filming on the real housewives of atlanta i'm not sure maybe y'all can get down in the comments and tell me but this man right here i never see him in any business attire at any business setting he's always playing around and most people they don't play around when they're doing business and then portia williams family matters this i guess is a place they're taking it from maybe her house in the back of her house they're having a little get together but they even get into it meaning simon and um pj's daddy so dennis i'm kind of concerned about portia now at first i want wasn't but it seems like she's rubbing heads with some powerful people that really don't care anything about anything but cult like living sacrifices and the destruction of our race and really everybody's race because they don't really care about uh money power and greed and it doesn't matter what culture or race you're in if you're not up there with unforgettable zeros and deep pockets then why are you there you know what i'm saying you might become one of their sacrifices but i'm just saying 
I don't know. Portia don't know nothing about that life. I don't think she know nothing about that life. You know, but, but was it Bohemian Grove? You know, these are like presidents. Uh, I'm speaking of. We're talking about a very devilish lineage. But they do rituals and sacrifices and, you know, cult life and um, just a lot. So, y'all Google the boule and then Google the black boule, okay? And y'all see where I'm going with this when I keep showing y'all these checkerboards on the floor, you know, and the masons and things of that nature. What does Portia has to do with any of this? It makes you wonder, what? road is Portia going down so I think we all need to pray for Portia for those who love and care and want to see her do well especially with baby PJ ah <sighs> yeah but Portia went to a ball at the Swan Lake and that's why she was dressed like a little princess and her so-called husband this is the I guess the uh, nighttime life they have. And you know maybe they had some kind of. Sacrificial ritual party going on. I don't know. But Portia seems to be lining. Aligning herself with these type of people. As you can see. Um, interesting. It's the very least I can say. Interesting. But yeah. Uh, that's why Portia was dressed up. Putting it on her. Uh, Instagram uh, account showing uh, herself dressed up now she was going to some type of um, upscale affair which in a sense that's you know we always talk about Hollywood or Hollywood you can say be said about Georgia too and it becoming the next Georgia weird wood if you get my drill but yes most people compared Meaning the rich and just the journalists going around here doing stuff on Swan House. They compared it to the Hunger Games. And for those who are not familiar with the hum, what you call it, the Hunger Games and the Mockingbird and all that kind of stuff. And that character that played in the Hunger Games. Please do your research. Please do your research. Okay. And, uh, yeah. The house was built in 1928, and we know a lot of stuff was going on in those uh, earlier years uh, with our culture and history. So, yes, Portia Williams was dressed up in a stunning gown, champagne gown, and she had her so-called... And that looks like a upside-down cross, don't it, y'all? I'm like, what does Simon know? about rituals and cult activity kind of makes me want to know understand it a little bit better because Portia might be in trouble y'all she don't know how this man get down and the rituals he may participate in and he just sitting up that life she know every time now he's sitting up there looking like the devil mm mm and some of his motif kind of look like that mocking bird, mocking jay bird, and the Hunger Games stuff they used to wear. Okay, I wouldn't trust that man with a 10 foot pole. And she just going around here just being so happy and naive. Woo, child. It's on the other side. That man look like pretty evil. And yeah, he. Ah, I just don't like him, y'all. He just something about him. Look at them ears. And Portia just finding out all over him. And I'm like, girl, look how he did Fallon. Look how he did his previous wife. And to me, Fallon is more prettier than Portia. I'm just saying they're both beautiful women. But did Fallon know something about Simon? And she was like, honey, Portia, you can have him. Thank you for getting him off my, my back. Because you don't know what he really is about. So, yeah, honey. 
Fallon dodged a bullet, but Portia caught it. So, I don't know what Bravo doing to Portia and what Andy Cohen has set her up for. Utter failure. Utter failure is what I see, guys. But that's all I have for this video. I think I told y'all a lot. Y'all just have to have y'all eyes open and y'all ears open to be able to see and to be able to hear and be able to pray for discernment. Because our girl Portia, I think she's going down a road that she ain't going to be able to come back from, if you know what I mean. But that's why she's dressed so pretty. She's at the Swan House. Gave you a little history on that. So make sure you do your research. And you see the majority of what that is a big part of. And then got a, a half of us up in there. And I know we have a lot of black people that have money and connections. But that's him. I'm like, woo, Portia, 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 Portia. She thinks she running him. But at the end of all things, he might be running her. We just don't know. Now do we? Because I never saw her in Cordell being entertained at the Swan House. And that's for the rich and very, very much so affluent. Never heard of Dennis being a part of that. But now she's with Simon and she's like up, up, up there. So y'all tell me what y'all think about this particular video. And we're going to have a conversation. Other than that, make sure you continue to look at my videos. Forward my videos. Or another word for forward. Share my videos, please. And like them as well. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.